Hi there. This is image 13 for the Summer Interpretation Seminar course for D3 students at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. We have one bitewing radiograph to review amylogenesis imperfecta. On this bitewing radiograph, we see that the patient is in mixed dentition. On all the teeth, we do not see any evidence of enamel. There is no density difference between the dentin and what should have been an enamel layer. The occlusal surfaces of the deciduous molars are flat. The cusps of the unerupted premolars are very pointed. We have a panoramic radiograph of the same patient. On the bitewing radiograph, we had reviewed this area. We see similar findings on other teeth. Look at the crowns of the unerupted maxillary canines. These are very pointed. Again, I do not see any enamel layer. Look at the cusps of the molars. These cusps are also very pointed. The clinical picture shows yellowish color of all the teeth. This is because the enamel layer is so thin that we are seeing the color of the dentin. We see the pointed cusps of the molars. This finding is known as picket fence, something like this, multiple pointed cusps. The pointed cusps of this molar is broken off. Now the occlusal surface is flat from attrition. So amylogenesis imperfecta can be of four different types. The most common is the hypoplastic. Second type is hypomaturation type. The third is hypocalcification type. The fourth is less common hypomaturation hypoplastic with pterodontism. Since this is the most common, let's discuss this on this video. The hypoplastic type of amylogenesis imperfecta may have these features. The color of the tooth is yellowish brown due to color of the dentin as we saw on the clinical photograph. The surface is rough, pitted, or glossy. The enamel layer is thin or missing even before eruption. The shape of the crown is square and there's loss of proximal contact. The size is usually undersized crown with flat cusps undergoing attrition. Initially, we may see pointed picket fence cusps. So these two are clinical observation. These are clinical and radiological observations. Thank you very much. Please come back again for another interpretation video.